All right, I'm live. <laughs> Welcome to Awakening Faith Church. Our uh, church we started in our house under the direction of the Lord. I'll give you the address right off the bat, 119 Terry Avenue, Inman, South Carolina, 29349. Service time once a week at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Live on Facebook uh, at 315 because of the copyrights on music and all that. And th then, of course, we uh, put it on YouTube. Uh, we have we had some problems, haven't learned yet how to navigate on the download to the Awakening Faith Church page. So you'll have to follow me on YouTube, subscribe there every Sunday, and also on Facebook. Make sure you like and share and tag people and help us invite people to the broadcast. Amen. And to uh, what we're doing for the Lord. Amen. Let's pray together. Got it. This is a special sermon today as we go into the new year and uh, new beginnings. We, uh, Like Dr. Jack Laster said one time, every time you go into a new year, we've never been this way before. Yeah. But if we've got the Lord with us, Come on. we're looking for great things in 2024. Yes. We're going to soar. In 2024, Amen. living the life of no limitations, yes. and we can through the power of the Holy Ghost. If you're yes. saved, Hallelujah. He lives in your heart. Father, bless. Holy Ghost, bless. Jesus, we lift you up, the only Savior of the world, the only way to heaven. Help folks to repent, trust Christ alone for their salvation. Help them to make it public when they do, because Christ, you died for us publicly on the cross, and help us, Lord, to rejoice when they do get saved. And then, Lord, we pray you'll reclaim the prodigals that used to serve you through our ministry. In the name of the Lord, uh, Jesus, we pray, amen. So this is Pastor uh, Cordell, Brother Clay, amen. and Evangelist. And uh, so I work a full-time job, so if you ever want me to come uh, preach a word for you, it'll have to be on the weekends. I've got to, according to my work schedule, I'm off on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But right here is my main focus. I want to give a shout out to all those who share my broadcast, follow me. You know, I'm on Facebook twice a day. I want to thank you for that. Uh, we need to get YouTube up and going. Help me do that. And I want to thank you for all the ones that do share, the ones that do pray for us, and, and those who uh, support us. Now, I've got a great book. I've been reading it. And uh, it's on uh, Evangelist Billy Graham's life story, Just As I Am, one of my favorite hymns. Hallelujah, somebody. And this is a, uh, this was given to me by my father yesterday. Woo, the Holy Ghost is on this book, friend. Yeah. And uh, I, man, I just feel the Lord. Yeah. So get that book. And uh, so two people this week asked for, I was giving away two books this week. We got them in the mail to you. Friday, so you should be getting them to you this week. I feel the Holy Dove. Amen. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, get in. Oh, I forgot. To, can you go get my prayer request for me, please? It's, it's, I have it. Uh, just bring me the legal pad. We're getting ready to pray. Uh, and uh, our prayer request. And look at all the prayer requests that have already been sent up to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, because he only answers prayer in Jesus' name. He only saves your soul in Jesus' name. Um, but I didn't get a chance to. I usually have them, the prayer and praise reports cut up and uh, clipped and everything. So I'll show you the prayer request that have been in this week, that have been put in the prayer list. They, they, of course, they're initialed. I mean, you look at all those names, folks. Those are people, okay? Yeah. Uh, like Rod Parsley said today, one soul's worth it all. Amen. One soul's worth it all. Billy Graham, the great evangelist who preached to millions, said in Tallahassee, Florida, I watched him this morning, in 1988, he told the city, that's the home of the Florida State Seminoles, um, he told them in 1988, he said, if one soul, and there was thousands of people at this thing, he said, if one of you get saved, it's worth all the money we've spent to get this crusade together. Amen. That's why uh, we need to get back to understanding the value of one soul. 
and look at all those names. This is just one day yeah. names. So we're going to go ahead and get these prayer requests to, before the Lord. Of course, when I initially it, it goes right to Jesus immediately. Amen. And uh, one of the greatest experiences I had in my life was when I went to Oral Roberts University. Uh, and Charlie C., who's in heaven, Pastor David Carter. This was back in 1985, 86. Uh, and I actually prayed uh, in, the, in the base of Oral Roberts Ministries Prayer Tower, where he prayed every day. He lifted prayers up all the thousands that are still going in today. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. hallelujah. Yes. We pray pray over these, uh, yes. uh, Mandy, pray over these requests. Heavenly Father, be with every prayer request in there, every yes. name, Jesus. Yes. Be with us as we get ready to yes. go into this new year, Father. Yes. We're slamming doors on the <laughs> things of the past. Yes. And we're opening doors in the new year. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. And in the Hebrew calendar, it's funny you mentioned that. The Hebrew calendar for this year, the number represents open doors. Amen. Open doors. Walk through that door with God, my friend. Yes. Amen. Amen. So prayer requests have went up. Now our our tithes and offerings have already been put into yes. the to the church. Uh my wife does that every week. And also, uh, as I've told you before, we give a every month I pick a ministry out. Uh, to uh, give whatever I feel led of the Lord to give. And I haven't picked it yet. I'm still praying over it, still praying over it. But I've got a funny feeling I already know where I'm headed with it because of the Lord. But if you would like to give a love offering uh, to uh, to the Awakening Faith Church, it goes into a separate account. We got it set. Uh, it's used as the Holy Ghost leads me, the pastor, to use it. Um, love offerings. Uh, uh, gifts or whatever the case you want to call it. You can cash app it, dollar sign, small letters, T-A-N-M-A-N 1962. And then, of course, we have the PayPal, which is all small letters, M-A-N-D-Y-C-O-R-D-E-L-L, -L, 0971 at gmail.com. And a few of you use occasionally from time to time. We have a secure line on Facebook. If you need some help there, you can contact us. Look at the sign. Do y'all see that in front of me? Yeah. My daughter had that, well, our daughter, you know what I mean, uh, had that made for our church. Somebody ought to give the hand clap to the Lord. Amen. Uh, gave uh, gave that look. And the reason you can't see the T is because it's the cross. You can see it. Well, you can. The blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. The blood. Let the blood speak for me. Amen. Amen. When judgment called, mercy answered. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe the Crab family mm -hmm. uh, sings that. I don't know. And I listen to so much music. All right. So, and I love gospel music. So, uh, uh, let's pray over the offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, you know what we need. We give it to you. In Jesus' name, Luke 638 on anybody, including us, that gives to the offering. Amen. So, Hallelujah. I'm excited. Are y'all? Yes. Amen. The thunderous crowd. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I got you. Amen. Amen. So, uh, Revelation. How about that? Revelation wow. chapter 2. Uh, we're going to talk a New Year's sermon, preach a little bit, a few minutes on resetting, refocusing, and refreshing. Come on. And uh, I, I love the alliteration. And uh, we want to get to the, the verse, though, first. Re Mays Jackson's favorite verse on revival is right here. Revelation chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. And that's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Preacher or whatever you want to call, if you're saved, the world, the flesh, the devil can cause us to drift away if we're not careful. Right. And so, uh, so God says... When we leave our first love, that's not a good thing at all. Yeah. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Now, that doesn't sound good at all. We yeah. don't want that to happen. Mm -mm. Well, if we don't want it to happen, we got to do what he said in the first part that's of the verse. Remember and repent and repent and redo. So that's the... Uh, 
Uh, I mean, look at this beautiful Bible, Holy Bible, five of, uh, called the Good Shepherd King James. Uh, this is a, a 1946. That's how long this Bible's been on the earth? Uh, so, uh, my dad gave this to the uh, uh, and told me to give it to somebody. Mm -hmm. And it's funny that whatever you sow, you'll receive to sow again. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't just include money. When you, I gave two books away and two. <laughs> I got two back. Uh, really, I got three. But he told me if one of them, if you read it and you don't think it's good, you get rid of it. And that, and it wasn't. Uh, it just wasn't of Christian what I needed. Uh, but these two, uh, he told me. He said, "Make sure you get that Bible to somebody that might use it. You know, that needs it." That's what he said. So we will, we will, we will give this Bible to somebody that we use it, and we appreciate the gifts. All right, let's get right into the message. Are you ready? Say, man. All right. First point of the message is in 2024, the year that we're going to soar. One preacher said, the year we're going to go through the door. Amen. One preacher said, the year that we're going to have more. Come on. Amen. To reset means to make an adjustment. Yeah. Uh, it means to set something to a new setting or to set it back to its initial state. So humanity, sinful humanity, as far back as the Garden of Eden, oh, Adam and Eve. Oh, here we go. We've sinned. Yeah. All of sin comes short of the glory of God. We've fallen short of, short of God's glory. But rather than keeping us in that condition, God has made a way for us to get back to him. And that's through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh, God's, uh, so uh, God, through Jesus' death and resurrection, has hit a reset button so that we don't have to perish and go to hell, but have eternal life. Like I told uh, a man yesterday, I said the message has not changed, just like evangelist Billy Graham said. Every ministry that's for the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus came from heaven, born of a virgin, conceived of the Holy Ghost, lived a perfect life, died on the cross for the world's sin and our sin, conquered death, hell, and the grave, ascended back to heaven, and is coming again, and God has promised any sinner that he'll, if he'll come by the way of the cross of Jesus, by the way of Jesus, and only by the way of Jesus, and accept Christ as your Savior, God says he'll forgive you of all of your sin. Hey. Amen. Hey. Put hey. you in the family of God, and you'll go to heaven when you die, not hell. Hallelujah. The message will never change, and that's the message of the Word from the Word, Awakening Faith Church. Now, we see here, we need to hit the reset button today. This is the time to do it. No better time than right now. Today is the day of salvation. Hit the reset button uh, and reset us back to God's original purpose and design. That is our initial state, then into a whole new plan. Mm -hmm. I like that. New purpose. And what a future. Yes. <laughs> what a future. There's nothing impossible with the Lord. Amen. And so we need to reset ourselves to get where God wants us to be. That's so vitally important in this last of the last days. Not where we want to be. No, we don't want to be where we want to be. We want to be exactly where God wants us to be. Be in that place. There's no better place to be in Christ, in God. Amen. Uh, the great apostle Paul wrote that under inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Hid in Christ, in God. And that's what happens when you get saved. Now, uh, we don't want to be where we want to be, and we definitely don't want to be where our family thinks we ought to be or um, the world. Yeah. For those of us who know Jesus as our Savior and as our Lord, remember what it was like at the beginning when you first got saved. Yes. Man, you talking about being radical. I'm nowhere even close. I'm getting there. But, man, <laughs> and, I, and my wife's sitting over there. She only knows me for like six years. For all of you out there that knew me when I first got saved, just remember how radical I was for Jesus. Y'all hey. remember, all of you out there that I pastored, how radical I was. Uh, man, we need to get back to that. Come on. That fervent first love. Uh, well, one man in Spartanburg called me the, 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 the number one track distributor he's ever met. Amen. Hey. Not bragging on me, but that's how many tracks I passed out and how many people. Uh, I've only had three individuals that I can think of in my mind that ever turned one of my tracks down. Mm. 
Mm. One of them was in Raleigh, North Carolina. One of them was in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And one of them was in Lancaster, South Carolina. You say, well, where, what did the rest of them do? They took the gospel. Did they get saved? They took the track. I don't know. But they took the precious seed of Calvary. Amen. Amen. And so you never know. We get to heaven, all these people might come running That's up right. saying, Brother Clay, Lord. thank you. You're the only one ever to give me a gospel track. Well, that yes. shouldn't be the case, but Come on. folks, that's the way it is sometimes. But man, we need to get back to that time when we were excited about the Lord, yes. when we loved the Bible. Come on. Mm. When we, we couldn't wait to get off work and get home and read the Bible. Yeah. Come on, couldn't wait to go to church. Yeah, you can. Couldn't wait. I, I mean, I remember that. Man, we were overjoyed with this life that yes. God gave us. Amen. Oh, we need that today. We need to hit the reset button. Come on. I'm telling you, I feel the word on this. Reach. That God, he's calling us. Amen. I feel the God. We're talking about God here, folks. The God of the universe. Come on. Who's spoken into being and it's still expanding according to science. Just think about that. Right. The power of God. We're talking about God says, I'm ready to set. It's like God's waiting on us to push the button. God says, if they'll hit that reset button, whew, 2024, God will blow the socks off of us. Amen, Amen. somebody. Woo! This is the reason God is calling us. Do you hear the voice? Amen. I'm talking about the voice of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Hallelujah. I remember the great evangelist, Maze Jackson and Jack Lasher used to say, as I'm speaking on the outside, the God of heaven is speaking on the inside. Yeah, come on. You need to fear, hear Jesus. the voice of the Lord. Right. And you need to respond to it. Amen. Come on. We need to get back to that childlike faith we have. Right. I mean, children teach us how. I mean, Jesus, who was God in the flesh, would take children aside and say, this is the way we ought to be. That's right. Humble, forgiving. Yes. Come on, somebody. Come on. Have Jesus. faith in God. Amen. Man, a little child, he'll... Uh, she or he will believe, uh, I mean, anything. That's right. And But all oh, us adults, we grow old, and it's terrible. Hit That's the right. reset button, Amen. and we need to get back. Man, think about what kind of difference we can make for other people. But not only that, we got one preacher around here calls himself the hope dispenser. The Holy Ghost said, that's what I want from you. Amen. He spoke to me. Amen. He said, "Not a, hey, he took the dope dispenser and put hope. Amen. And that's the way we ought to Amen. be. We ought to be. The greatest hope we have is Jesus. Come on. Come on, somebody. So what a difference we can make for others. Be a life, of a channel for yes. God just to, whoosh, yes. to blow through our lives. So if you're sensing what I'm sensing in my life, Little, a humble, our humble abode where we have this church started. Do you feel the voice? Hear the voice. I mean, do you hear what I'm hearing? Come on. It's like God is saying, Clay, the reset button's right there. Amen. I'm waiting on Pastor Cordell to hit the reset button. I'm waiting on Mandy Cordell to hit the reset I'm Come not on. saying that's the case. You might already be where you need to be. I'm saying, no, I'm yeah. using us as examples. Yeah. You're out there, whatever state you're watching from, whatever country, this is going to be a worldwide ministry for yes. Jesus. You say it's not worldwide right now. Well, we got people watching from all over the world. Right. We got people from Africa, the Philippines, J Jamaica, the Caribbean. I don't know who's watching, mm -hmm. but if you feel what I'm feeling, I'm talking about God, the Holy Ghost. Yeah. If you're feeling the dove of heaven and you're sensing, you're perceiving God, and, and you see the need in your life. Oh, what a difference you can make in the Bahamas. If Blessing Ann is watching this, and I believe she asked us to pray for her to get a husband. She's faithful to the Lord, and we did. And she and, and she told me yesterday, on uh, sent me a message, that I'm, I am dispensing hope. <laughs> She's doing what she can. Come on. She said, I'm in my car, and I'm... I'm dispensing hope to people. Come on, that's what we need, folks. Amen. And, and, and so we want to, we want to get, uh, if we want to hit that reset button, we want real change. We want lasting change, uh, and, and it all begins with individuals. Yeah. Right here, us individually. Come on. Oh, the, the devil's got us. The devil's got us hoodwinked, as they say in the country. That's right. He's got us thinking that you're not important to God. That's right. Oh, you're small. Preach. Oh, my oh, yeah. friend. Come on, preach that. Before there ever was a great known evangelist, Billy Graham, do you know where he preached when he went to Bible college? He he would take a. You listen to me out there. 
Listen to what I'm telling you. Way before anybody ever heard about a great Billy Graham, he used to take his canoe, a little boat, and go over to an island down in Florida and preach to the by his own testimony. To a church? No. He preached to the to the birds and the animals. Amen. Amen. That's why God raised him up. Come on. That's what we, we he, we've got to see ourselves as God put us here. Right. God wants us to see that we need to hit the reset button Come and on. we need to spend time in the quiet place with God, yes. but then we need to take his message to the four yes. corners of the earth. Amen. And so let's keep in mind that each day that we get up, I say the Lord's Prayer, whatever you want to call it, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will. Every day, before my wife even opens her eyes, yep. before I go to work, I say it, then I put the cross over my wife yep. and me. and yes. my. Th that's what we need to do. We need to wake up remembering God's mercies are renewed toward us. We need to, we need to do what the message is entitling us today. The first point, hit the reset button. Hit that reset button. Let it... Uh, be your disclaimer and reset our lives to God, to Jesus Christ, who is God, the Savior of the world, the only Savior, but also those who need a reset in your relationships, mm -hmm. resets. Uh, in other words, getting back to our first love. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and I'm not perfect. I need all the help I can get yes. to be the husband ought to be, the pastor ought to be, the evangelist I'm going to be, whatever God has Come for on, me, I preach. want to make a difference in this world. You know, I, people say, well, why don't you find another job? That, you know there's jobs out there. Well, you're not going to believe this. Throughout this Amazon plan over here, whew, every day, our Bible college had the same same, uh, what is it, a motto picture? Mm -hmm. It's on the floor of our plant. Wow. And every day I go in, I say, well, God's got to have me here. Yeah. Think about that. How could Amazon and Southeastern have the same pictured wow. motto? Yeah. What I'm saying is find where God wants you to be yes. and hit the reset button. Yes. Number two, we need to refocus. Yes. The just shall live by faith, Come both on. in the Old and New Testament. Come on. We need Hebrews 11, 7. One of my favorite people in the Bible is Noah. What yes. a man of God. Yes. He built a boat where it never rained. That's right. Sure did. Uh, by faith. By faith. And moved with godly fear. Amen. And prepared the ark for the saving of his family. And his family did get saved. Hebrews 11, 8 through 11. By faith, when called Abraham, when called to go to a place, he would later receive an inheritance, obey and win. And even though he did not know where he was going, by faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. For he was looking for a city yes. with foundations whose builder and maker is God. By faith, his wife, Sarah, even Sarah, after the age of childbearing, believed God yep. and birthed a child in her old age. Isaac, yes. one of the greatest pictures of Jesus in the Bible. Yeah. And so Hebrews eleven twenty two, Joseph. Oh, Come what on. a great picture of Jesus. Joseph went from uh, from his being the parents' favorite to the pit, yeah. to the pit, to Potiphar's house, to the prison, and then to the right hand of Pharaoh, right. which was the greatest nation in the earth at that time. Only God, by faith, Joseph. He his setback was a setup. Come for on. a comeback. Come on. Hebrews 11, 24 and 26, by faith. By faith, when he became a Moses of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer the affliction with the people of God than to enjoy pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. My friend, listen to me. Read Hebrews 11 today. God is still in the slaying giant business. Amen. Daniel in the lion's den business. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Come they on. didn't bend. They didn't beg. They didn't bow. They Ooh. didn't budge. And they didn't burn. That's Hallelujah. Right. Uh, all these kept their lives, their eyes, their soul on the goal because they had God's vision. Yep. God's vision. Uh, people, uh, and I know people laugh at me when I say I've got to go preach to my worldwide ministry. Let me tell you something. 
I mean that. That's right. You say, how can you say that? You only reach so few right now because God told me he was going to do it. Mm -hmm. And if God says something, he's going to do it. Uh -huh. And so we see that's keeping the vision of God. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Come it, on. It, I'm telling speak you, that. listen to me. Speak Don't that. let this go out of your mind and your that's heart. Right. Come on, speak I'm it. saying I feel the Holy Ghost on this. When God tells you to do something, yes. build a boat like Preach. Noah where it never rained. Preach. You do what God tells you yes. to do Hallelujah. because people are going to be saved and, yes. and people are going to be healed and, and all of that. And if you need healing today, you need to be prayed for. You need Come to on. put it in the comment section. Yes. I've got the anointing oil right up here. Uh, well, over there in the chair or wherever it is, and we'll anoint and we'll pray for you. Amen. So we need to what? Reset. Will you hit the reset button? But take your finger. If you mean it, if you don't mean it, don't do it. If you, uh, symbolically, there's a reset button. And this is what I want you to say. Lord, say it out loud with me. Lord, Lord, I hit the reset button. I hit the reset button. Jesus, Jesus, you're number one. You're number one. You're my savior. You're my savior. And my God. And my God. Amen. Amen. That's it, folks. Woo! Number two, we need to uh, uh, refocus what I just oh, preached. Yeah, come on. We got to do it by faith. Yes. Ravens there still fly. Well, so you said, what are you looking for? I'm looking for them ravens. Yes. God knows what I need and I'll have it when I need it. That's right. God will take care of his children. God is not a man that he'll lie. Hallelujah. God says, if I pay my tithes and pay my, my tithes, he yeah. says he'll open the portals of heaven and pour out a blessing on we can't contain and keep the Satan off of us. Yeah. I believe that verse, friend. Amen. And uh, God will provide. Amen. 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 And so number three, we need to refresh ourselves Come on. in the Lord. We, this is the season of healing. We speak Jesus over you that are watching, over my wife, over my grandbabies, over our, our, our daughter and our son-in-law, over my dad, over my mother, over my living aunts and uncles and cousins out there and my wife's people. We speak Jesus yes. over you. We speak it over your finances, wow. your family, your future. We speak Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we see that it's going to be a season of the miraculous. Woo, glory. We're going to soar in 2024. And, and it's going to be a season of wholeness, a season of, of the miracles of God through Jesus. And our eyes are going to be opened. Yeah. You need to open your eyes, friend, and look to heaven and see God's hand on your life. And your sight will be restored because you're entering the year of more in 2024. So reset your confession. Refresh your determination. Refocus on what you know God has promised you because he has set before each one of us the open door of 2024. All things are possible with God. John Wesley on his deathbed, the great preacher, his brother, Charles Wesley, both of them founded the Methodist denomination in America and Europe. Do you know what he said on his deathbed? I mean, his brother wrote 7,000 hymns, not one hymn, not two hymns, 7,000 hymns Charles Wesley wrote, his, his brother. He said, what have you learned about life? What, what do you want us to remember? And the great man of God raised up from his last days on, you know, before he went to heaven. He said, God, I am a great sinner, but God is a great savior. And my friend, that's my message from here today. Trust Jesus as your Savior because you're a great sinner, but Jesus is the great Savior. Yay. Let's pray. Do we have any prayer requests in the comment section? If you saw it, we're praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless, move, have your way. Use this broadcast, send it wherever, whatever country, whatever state, whatever individual you want it to go to. May it be blessed in the name of the Lord. Lay your hand on the YouTube channel. May people watch it this week. Uh, bless my wife's ministry on Wednesday night, the Ain't God Good broadcast, uh, 6 o'clock Wednesday night. Continue to send her supporters. Bless every church in the world, including ours, that represents Jesus and lifts Jesus up, the only way, the only Savior of the world. Bless us in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, folks, that's it. God bless you.